One of the enhancements in Interop is just a more complete support for processing parts that are not created in a design application. So we have lots of design applications that we support, uh, primarily Allmaster software, KCD software, 3D Kitchen. We've got a number of, of other applications that we have support for within and routes ATP. Uh, but we also have a number of times when users will want to process jobs for DXF files that have not been created in a design application. So we, we have further implemented support for that. And you can select import files. You can use the act of drawing. Both of those provide good options for identifying parts that want to be processed essentially in the same way that they are if they're parts that are created from a design application. If I select the selected import files option, I can come in here and I can identify parts. And I'm just going to pick some, some DXF files that I have. These happen to be ones that were created in KCD, but, but let's just pick a selection of them. These could have been created in any other design application, you'll see when they come in as parts, the material type defaults to a default type of material, but I also can choose other material if I have different material that I have identified for those parts. And so the same way it doesn't, it doesn't know because you don't have a list file that defines what the material is. So that's something that you would have to define, but you can also define the quantity and whether or not you'll allow that part to rotate when it nests. You map the layers in the same way, and I can I, I happen to have these layers mapped, but if I click on Use Parts, it'll again use these parts and identify those, those layers, which you can then choose strategies for. Again, the very same way that you do with the design application, you can define the size of the material that you have. You see I have default material in here that was saved with my ATP that provides a size. And then when it comes time to process, you can process things essentially exactly the same as you would through a design app. You can define the labels that you want to produce. Um, in this case, I'm not going to produce labels, but I am going to create a printout when I process this job. And so that's been processed. You see it gives me the cut length and then estimate on the cut time tells me where that job is saved and now it's going to come up and it's going to prompt me here to save the uh, the uh, printout that it has created so i'll just call it sheet one okay so let's open that up look at it Okay, so it created a printout just the same way it would if I was processing it through a design app. It tells me the material, the cut length, the estimated time for the processing, and gives me a, an image of the nested sheet and the DXF files that were processed. So, so that's the printout that's created when I process those loose DXF files. So you can see that, that essentially it works the same way. This is one of the nice things about how the ATP was updated in Route 7 and now has been extended in, in Route 2022 is that the way jobs process is essentially the same every time, regardless of whether or not they come from a specific design application or whether they're processed as individual DXF files or even the act of drawing. Once that has been identified, once those parts have been identified, they process the rest of the way pretty much identically uh, regardless of what the source of the, the information is. So processing DXF files and then creating printouts or labels or how the output files are created, all of that is the same uh, for the no active application 